Hey everybody, welcome to a Vinyl Finds of All Kinds video. And that means there's no Beatles in this particular batch of records that I'm going to be showing here. And uh, some of you may have noticed that a while back I had some Jazz Finds videos just for early big band type of stuff like that. Um, I still have those videos, but I was doing some fine tuning on them. I had some kind of things I wanted to just, uh, little things I wanted to edit out and some things I wanted to just, uh, you know, fix up a little bit. So those will be back up if you want to go back and look for those. I don't know when, in several weeks from now, months from now, whenever I get to them. Um, I still have more uh, jazz records to show in another video that I got. But I think even though I'm enjoying this jazz journey and I've been uh, listening to a lot of it, I think I'm a little uh, overdosed on it right now. So I'm going to be taking a break from jazz for the most part. Um, I'm still listening to the records that I have. Don't need more right now. And uh, you'll see more as I, as I get them. Whenever the odd, interesting jazz record strikes me, I'll definitely still pick it up. But I want to talk for a moment about Fleetwood Mac. Uh, I picked up on Record Store Day the uh, Fleetwood Mac alternate Mirage album. I love this album, the, the original Mirage. And uh, this is one of their better albums to me of the uh, this particular lineup. Um, and I still say... Uh, pretty lazy cover they flipped the original album backwards this used to be the back cover now it's the front cover this used to be the front cover now it's the back cover but i still maintain that if you're not really paying close attention you, in the stores you could think this is the original regular mirage album remember the uh, alternate tusk album cover that had a whole different picture uh no way you could mistake that for the same old tusk album but the fleetwood mac recently there was a, a couple of, of videos that bobby gas put up and I'd never heard the early, early versions of Fleetwood Mac from the late 60s uh, with Peter Green. So check out that, uh, Bobby Gass, G-A-S-S. Bobby uh, played a couple of Peter Green's uh, Fleetwood Mac songs, and that's unlike anything I'd ever heard from them. I don't really listen to the early Fleetwood Mac. Don't know if, it's, if I'm going to like all of it, but you know, I like the two tracks that Bobby put up, and it was very interesting. So now I'm on a Fleetwood Mac kick, and the first few records I'm going to show are sort of related to that. Stevie Nicks, so I got this for Record Store Day, uh, Rarities, 1981 to 1983. Uh, she's just really a beautiful woman, and she's got uh, such a great voice. And I'm really, I've always been a Stevie Nicks fan, but I think I'm going to really delve into that deeper and get a lot of solo Stevie Nicks stuff too, other than just the hits. I don't, I'm interested. In I played this already, and I really, really love the whole thing. Um, this I haven't tried out yet. This is a 180-gram vinyl. Stevie Nicks, oh, I don't even know how to say it, 1986 Live. Great cover again. Uh, the Cuyahoga Fairgrounds, Weedsport, New York, August 15th, 1986. And uh, I'm anxious to hear this, too. So it's funny that, you know, I had opportunities to see Stevie Nicks uh, and Fleetwood Mac, and, and I kept passing it up, passing it up, passing it up, passing it up. Uh, and uh, I, I went to look online. I said, you know, I wonder if she's uh, playing anytime soon. And I looked, and I just missed her this month. <laughs> Can you believe it? She was all around uh, my area, and I missed her. Um, also, in the line, not to leave uh, by any chance Christine McVie out of this equation. I love Christine McVie, and I love her voice. Her voice is, is beautiful, silky, smooth, well, just beauty, gorgeous. And uh, I've been wanting to pick up some stuff by her. So this is a CD I picked up, the Complete Blue Horizon Sessions, uh, her original name of Christine Perfect. And uh, I've listened to, I'm looking here, I think four tracks off this already, the first four, and I really enjoyed them. They were really good. Uh, and I hope the whole thing uh, follows through. The inside is just the same as the dust jacket and I gotta tell you I'm wondering about listening to her Chicken Shack albums if I can ever find any I don't know if it's all gonna be my style of music but I like her voice so much I may give the Chicken Shack albums a try I don't know if the, I don't even know if there's stuff on here all you people out there will know this is why it, it's so valuable for people to watch and comment let me know uh, if this is the Chicken Shack stuff I didn't read the booklet yet um, this is all there is this is the Blue Horizon sessions including some uh, BBC session stuff. So, now I got a little gypped on this. I went to uh, another record store and I bought Fleetwood Mac Rumors on CD, but I picked this one up because uh, there's 
bonus tracks and you probably can't read that very well but it's a second disc it's a two disc set of bonus tracks i played the bonus tracks first and in the middle it starts skipping uh unfortunately it really pissed me off because i looked really closely and i didn't see any scratches on the surface of the playing side of the disc but um upon real close scrutiny there's a little hair of a line that uh this thing is unusable okay uh Here's a 10-inch record. Andrew's sister's doing Irving Berlin songs. And uh, it's always great to find a really nice condition with the seams on split. 10-inch record like this on Decca. I don't like taking the records in and out because everybody who collects these records knows notoriously these, these split here. Because they don't really fit in here very well. And really, you should be take, keeping these records out. But I can't, I can't resist showing that Decca label. I love it. And I know a lot of record collectors out there appreciate labels as well. Okay. Um, all right. The next album I'm going to show you uh, is going to be interesting to discuss because I wonder how people feel about this. And I know how some fans are going to take it right off the bat. Uh, I was at my record store and I picked up December's Children. And everybody's the Rolling Stones original from 1965 the matrix numbers of the dead wax match perfectly now You got the shrink on here in the back the shrink in the front is a little torn Okay, but it's still What's interesting what I liked about it was this wonderful hype sticker where they talk about get off of my cloud now This particular album I paid a little bit for and uh, you know, I like the stones uh, this is a stereo version. I have this album without the hype sticker, without the shrink, and mono. But I wanted this because it had a, a great sticker on it. And it just looks so beautiful, and you know, as a collector's piece. Uh, and I thought, you know, maybe I went a little too far with it. It just so happens, some of you may remember uh, my friend Greg, who also shops at the record store. Greg is the kind of the, 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 the kind of guy you might remember from back in the other video. He uh, actually had a Beatles uh 65 record and uh i kind of wanted it and he wanted he wanted to buy it ahead of me well uh it turns out he wants this album so i decided that uh i'll sell it right to him same price i paid for it i haven't even played it or anything it's the way i got it but i wanted to at least keep it just to show on this video i mean i don't know how you feel about that i'm sure a lot of people are saying nah keep this record get rid of all the others this is the this is the real jewel yeah i know it's a jewel it, it cost me a little much um, but then I thought, you know, I'm really, I'm more of a Beatles collector when it comes to the real rarities and hype stickers and things, you know, like, if you're going to pay extra, I'd rather pay for a Beatles item, you know. Okay, I love Tom Petty. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, okay, Long After Dark. Uh, I absolutely love the song, You Got Lucky. It's one of my all-time favorite songs from the 80s, or any time, really. I love that song, very big hit. Very important time in my life when it when it was a hit. I had this record back in the early 80s when it came out. And I only ever played You Got Lucky and another song on here, Change of Heart. I've never played the entire record. The thing with me and Tom Petty is I love his hits, man. I've got a uh, two-CD set with a lot of great tracks on it. And I play that all the time in the car. But uh, playing his albums entirely is something I still haven't done. So we'll see when I get to playing this. Is it the good all the way through? Or is my instinct from 1982 and 83 still right? And uh, is it okay just to play just the two songs I like from it? You know, we'll find out if I like any others. Okay, now for the rest of this video, we're going to veer off into different territory as we go. Uh, here I got an app, album by Nat King Cole, Thank You Pretty Baby. I'm getting into uh, a lot of vocalists, male and female. Uh, I'm just guessing that as I've gotten a little older... I've appreciated some of this stuff, whereas when I was in my teens and 20s, it didn't really do much for me. But now I'm enjoying it, and that King Cole is a great singer. Uh, and the albums can be had so cheaply. Here's one called L-O-V-E, Nat King Cole. This one's in a nice shrink, well-preserved. And I uh, like that hype sticker there. Two. Um, now, this one's really going to interest some people, throw some people for a loop. I hope you... Hope none of you are standing up because some of you are going to be surprised. But I've always liked this guy's voice ever since I I saw him uh, on the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer cartoon. You know where I'm going with this, right? And also uh, this Christmas song, Holly Jolly Christmas. It's Burl Ives, 
And uh, I thought I'd try a lot of Burl Ives albums. These things are like, you can buy like a bunch of them for a buck or two. It's just my funny way of laughing, Burl Ives. So I'm going to try this guy out. And I've already, you know, put the needle around and listened to a track here, a track there. And his voice is really soothing. He's like your old grandpa or something, you know. Songs of the West, Burl Lives. And we're not done yet with Burl. We got uh, this one just called simply Burl. Here's one. Uh, Burl Lives with the Ray Charles Singers. Cheers. And not only the Andrews sisters sing Irving Berlin, but so does Burl Ives. Burl Lives sings Irving Berlin. Irving Berlin. See what I mean? I'm not editing. Irving Berlin with a D. What the hell am I? Ah, Irving Berlin. Here's a double LP set called The Best of Burl Lives. And I played a song on here. That was absolutely ridiculous. Sounded like a TV commercial. A song called Goober Peas. Uh, and it was fun. It was fun, but ridiculously over the top like a commercial. But it was a lot of fun. Goober Peas. P-E-A-S. Peas. The yeet. Okay. Um, a couple of Engelbert Humperdinck albums. Now, every time I show old Engelbert, the humpster... <laughs> I hope Liam Dyer is watching this. And, Le and Liam, if you're not watching this, if somebody else knows Liam Dyer, tell Liam to watch this. I got a couple of nice condition Engelbert albums. Uh, Sweetheart. I always feel I have to always say that. Here's another one. We made it happen and shrink. I, I, I love Engelbert's voice because my mother played him around the house all the damn time. And I got to love songs like Release Me and A Man Without Love and Quando, Quando, Quando and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to really add him to my vocalist and see where, where that goes. Uh, well, this guy hasn't, hasn't sung anything, but this was really interesting. He's one of my favorite actors, Charlton Heston, and I found this album, Out of Egypt. Charlton Heston reads from the five books of Moses, tells the story of Moses for a couple of bucks. And uh, that was a curio that I thought I would add. And I thank you, everybody, a little bit of everything. But I don't think I showed any disco this time. I like disco. Anyway, everybody, take care.